Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday, April 25th, from the banks of the beautiful Stillwater River, one of my absolute favorite places. Gorgeous walking trails if you ever want a new place to explore. I have a few agency updates for you this morning, and then I'll let you get about your day. First, this last week was National Volunteer Recognition Week, and it feels critically important to stop for a moment and thank the many volunteers we have who help us to accomplish our mission. From the volunteers in the Retired Senior Volunteer Program, to the Foster Grandparent Program, to our transportation volunteers, our parent volunteers, and so many others, thank you to all of you who work so hard to help us work toward our mission. Also, in the upcoming week, it is Spirit Week, one of my favorite weeks of the year. You've seen the flyers, every day has a theme. Please join us in dressing up and sending photos to Lisa Atkins. She'll post them in the current and she'll post them online. It'll be a lot of fun. Even though we can't all be together, we can certainly show our Pinkwa spirit. In addition, on Monday, tomorrow at 1 p.m., we will be having a Facebook Live event, and this will be to acknowledge a local business, and it's a surprise. Um, and this business has had an enormous contribution in one of our recent campaigns, so we wanna show up there and really celebrate them. If you are free and available, we'd love to have you join us through our Penquist Facebook page. Lastly, we have been given a number of items recently donated to Penquist to help those who need them need the, these items. We have baby clothes kits, infant clothes kits, and basic cleaning kits. If you know of anyone that could benefit from these items, please reach out to Renee Muscatel and she will help to connect you with the items. Thank you all for all that you do. Uh, it's a pleasure connecting with you today and I hope you have a wonderful